तर जति यो युथ मिटिङमा आबद्ध भएर प्रभुको वचन सुन्नुने सबै प्रियहरुलाई प्रभु यीशु ख्रीष्टको नाममा प्रेमी जय मसीह जय मसीह अनि म आशा गर्छु मेरो आवाजलाई तपाईले सुनिरहनु भएको छ Probably uh, you can hear my voice. Ra Probably Probably you only I would like to thank God that He has given us this wonderful time again to meet together. Ta And we have very limited time, and we're trying we're trying to cover many things. इस कारण लेकर दा हमी सीधे प्रभु को बचन हमी पढ़ सों भूमिका तीर हमी जान देनो। So before covering the introduction, we will go straight to the uh, word of God. ये उटा पद जो सारे चीर परिचित था सब ये लाय हमी लाय था सा त्यो पद बाटा आज हमी को यो युवा शिविर चाहिए शुरू करनी सों युवा शिविर हमी शुरू करनी सों। So we are starting this youth meeting with this verse which we are very well aware of. Bilako Kitab Tina De Esco Siptais Pad Lamentation Chapter Three Verse Twenty Seven Bilab Tina De Cosatais Pad Lamentations Chapter Three Twenty Seven Afno Zoanica Din Aruma, Jua Bokno, Maniscanimti, Osalho. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. Amy Pratna Gonisa. So we pray. नेपाली में गरीबी नहीं सुन, हमरा तिन्ते प्रेमी विश्वास के प्रेमी पिता, तबाती महान अनुनसा, तबाई भयोग्य परमेश्वर अनुनसा, आज तबाई को लोग उसको बीच में विशेषता, आज युवा हरु को बीच में तबाई को बचन लिए रूबी ने लाइक हो, माफ़ला कदा भी बनी पाऊंगी ना, प्रसस्त मामा दुर्बलता कमज़ोर केवल तपाईको दासहरुको अनुरोधलाई मैले स्वीकार गरिदिएको मात्र हो यसकारणले तपाईले मलाई प्रयोग गर्नुहोस् प्रभु तपाई मसँग पनि बोल्नुहोस् र हामी जति जना छौ हामी प्रत्येक सँग तपाईले आफ्नो सन्देश दिनुहोस् समय एकदम हामीसँग छोटो छ धेरै कुराहरु हामीले हेर्ने वाला छौ तपाई बोल्नु भएन भने तपाईको आत्माको मुभमेन्टमा हामीलाई चलाउनु भएन भने तपाईको आत्माको परिचालनमा हामीलाई खटन पटन गर्नु भएन भने प्रभु जी यो सेवा सेवा नभएर प्रभु बेर्थको जमघट मात्र हुनेछ यद्यपि प्रभु हामीले सामाजिक सञ्जाल अथवा यो नेटको माध्यमद्वारा यो कुरा गर्न लागिरहेका छौ गरिरहेका छौ तसर्थ तब परमेश्वरको अनुग्रह रहोस् तुच्छलाई प्रयोग गर्नुहोस् प्रभु परमेश्वरता सात समुद्र पारी भएका तपाईको लोगहरुको आवश्यकतालाई पनि तपाईले पूरा गर्नुहोस् र स्वयं मसँग पनि तब प्रभु बात गर्नुहोस् तपाईसँग विनती प्रार्थना गर्दछौ वचन सुन्न वचन बोल्नको विरुद्धमा भएका अन्धकारका युक्ति युक्तिलाई प्रभु यीशु को सामर्थ्य नाम हामी बाच्छौ स्वर्गमा तब प्रभुले बाँध्नुस् तपाईसँग विनती प्रार्थना छ प्रभु हामी प्रार्थना विनती गर्दछौ अब यो सेवालाई तपाईको हातमा जिम्मा लाउँछौ लुगा बारबार निगम चाब मति 10 20 कलशी 4 4 लाई अक्षरस दाबक गर्छौ तब प्रभुले पूरा गर्नुहोस् आजको यो सेवाको द्वारा म पनि लाभान्वित हुन सकौ हामी प्रत्येकलाई तब प्रभुले प्रभु आत्मिक प्रभु आशीषले भरपूर तब प्रभुले बनाउनुस् तब जब तब सम्भव छ जब तपाईले मलाई प्रयोग गर्नुहुन्छ तब सम्भव छ जब तपाईको आत्माको परिचालनमा मलाई ल्याउनु हुन्छ तब सम्भव छ जब सुन्ने र बोल्ने दुवै माथि तपाई प्रभुले आत्माको अभिषेक तपाईले गर्नु भयो भने यसैकारण तपाईको हातमा म आफू कमजोरलाई तपाईको हातमा जिम्मा लगाउँदै वचन बोल्नको निम्ति तपाई प्रभुले सहायता गर्नुहोस् प्रार्थना गर्दै ट्रान्सलेसनमा पनि तपाई प्रभुले नै सहायता गरिदिनुहोस् प्रार्थना विनती गर्दै धन्यवाद विनती प्रार्थनालाई प्रभु यीशु ख्रीष्टको नाममा परमेश्वर पिता आफ्नो महिमाको निम्ति पुत्र प्रभु यीशु ख्रीष्टको नाममा सुनेर ग्रहण गर्नुहोस् आमेन आमेन बिलाको किताब 3 अध्यायको 27 पदमा लेखिएको जुन पद छ एकदम चिर परिचित पदहरु हो एन्ड दिस वर्स दैट वी रेड इन लेमेन्टेशन टु 327 इट इज भेरी वेल नोन वर्स सायद हुन सक्छ हामीले विभिन्न प्रभुका दासहरुद्वारा यस सम्बन्धमा प्रशस्त प्रभुको वचन सुनेका and perhaps we we might have heard many uh, many things from this verse from the uh, servants of god ta aaja ami euta vishesh kura ami es pad bata ami manan garne chau and we're trying to look at one particular thing from this verse 
इस पद में धेरे कुरारो लेख करिएगा सन। There are many things mentioned in this verse. जवानी का दिन हरुमा ये उटा कुरा। One thing is the time of their youth. जुआ बोकनु दूसरो कुरा। And the other one is to bear the yoke. And the other thing is that that doing this thing is good. And if we look into the this verse in three parts, then we can gain many uh, knowledge from this uh, verse. Uh, but because of the limited time, we will only look at one part of this. So the, today's main topic will be the yoke. It's true, we have heard many um, things regarding yoke from servants of God before. But today we, sh we shall look uh, related to this uh, subject matter in yoke. And this yoke which represents four things in the youth. जवानी जीवन में चार प्रकार का कुरारू अथवा जवा हमरो जीवन को चार प्रकार का जीवन हो रही है जो वाले बताऊँ सा। And this yoke represents four things in our life। अथवा जवानी जीवन का चार प्रकार का अवस्था रू या जीवन हो रू बने रू बुझना सकते हैं हमी। Or we can also see as the four uh, different um, uh, uh, view of the uh, youthful life. So we'll try to understand first regarding this yoke itself. So what is the uh, the need of the yoke and what do we what is the purpose of the yoke? And and where in the villages uh, we can see th this yoke being used. And especially we can see that yoke is being used to uh, to plow the ground. And so let us try to focus in this that when we have the the oxes to plow the ground, this yoke is used to uh, put the uh, the two oxes together. Uh, but it is not only that, it is also to train up a new Oxes to plow. Yo jua chahi yota khet jotno ko nimti matre na baira yota guru lai sikauno ko nimti pe ni prayog karin sa. And this yoke is not only used to plow the ground, but is also to train up the uh, the oxes. Jab guru aur lai yo naare ra jab jotin sa yota line ma chahi jotno chahi hai yo. Uh, so if we are to plow in in a straight line, then the yoke is used. The Bible And if we look into the Bible, then we can see many different kinds of yoke. And Leviticus chapter twenty six verse thirteen, we can see the uh, the uh, yoke of slavery. Uh, and Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse uh, uh, 48, if we see there, we can see the yoke of an iron. 
अनि त्यसपछि हामीले पहिलो राजाको किताब 12 देखो 10 पदमा हेरौँ भने गरुङ जुवा देख्छौ एन्ड कति भन्नु भयो सरी अ पहिलो राजाको किताब 12 देखो 10 पदमा हामीले त्यहाँ गरुङ जुवाको विषयमा देख्छौ एन्ड फर्स्ट किंग किंग च्याप्टर 12 वर्स 10 वी क्यान सी द वी क्यान सी द हेवी योक अनि मत्तिको किताब 11 देखो 29 पदमा हेर्यौ भने त्यहाँ ख्रिस्टको जुवा हामी देख्छौ and uh, Matthew chapter 11 verse 29 we can see the yoke of Christ त यी चार प्रकारका जुवाहरुको विषयमा आज विशेष हाम्रो अध्ययन हुनेछ and we'll try to study these four kinds of uh, yoke तर मसँग समय एकदम कम भएको हुनाले यी सबै कुराको विषयमा म वर्णन गरि सक्छु कि सक्दिन म कन्फ्युज छु and i'm not sure if i uh, am able to elaborate more on this in this limited time तर पनि म कोसिस गर्ने छु तर हामी पहिलो जुवाको विषयमा हेर्छौ सो वी शल लुक एट दिस फर्स्ट योक दासत्वको जुवा लेवीको किताब 26 अध्यायको 13 पद लेविटिकस च्याप्टर 26 वर्स 13 द योक अफ स्लेभरी यहाँ यस प्रकारले लेखिएको छ and it's written like this. Manai Manai Param Prabhu Timirko Parmesuru Timiru Timiurka Kamara Una Naporos Bani Maile Timirla Misra Despada Nikale Lang Ani Maile Timirko Jua Soila Rup Juaka Soila Rub Bhati de Kutsu Ra Timiola Si Dabari Hene Tulle Kutsu. I am the Lord your God which brought you forth out of the land of Egypt that ye may uh, that ye should not be their uh, their, their bondage. Their bondmen, and I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you go upright. And this is the uh, yoke of bondage where when, when the Israelites were in captivity in Egypt. And if we read Exodus chapter 1, Israel And we can see how much uh, in bondage were Israelites at that time. And we're, what I'm trying to show you here is in respect to what slavery is. यहाँ 11 पद देखि लिएर 14 पद सम्म प्रस्थानको किताब एक अध्यायको 11 पद देखि लिएर 14 पद सम्म हेर्यौ भने यहाँ हामीले दासत्वको एउटा विषयमा कस्तो प्रकारको दासत्व थियो भन्ने कुरा हामी देख्छौ एन इफ वी रीड एक्सोडस च्याप्टर 1 वर्सेस 11 टु 14 वी क्यान सी व्हाट काइंड अफ बन्डेज दे इजराइलाइट्स वेर गोइंग थ्रु एट दैट टाइम यहाँ भनिएको छ 11 पदमा भारीहरू लदाएर कष्ट दिनका निम्ति उनीहरूमाथि उनीहरूलाई काममा जोत्ने and the verse 11 says that they they had they had set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And verse 12 it mentions that the the more they were afflicted uh, them, so we, so we understand that they were afflicted so much. And on verse 13, it mentions that uh, Israel, Israelites were made to serve with rigor. And verse 14, it says that with all this service wherein they made them um, serve, was with rigor. Yeah, but I'm the key for a bunu socks on one, eh? Dasoto, one ego say, Unilafno, Manmaki lagasa, Tukura gone up on the generation. So the bondage is such a thing that it prevents us from doing something that we desire in our heart. Afno itia, Puragono, in a resator, Oruku itama, Amita, it's on upon it. You tell the bondage resatwa, Dasoto resa. So bondage is something. That we cannot fulfill our own uh, will, but it is to fulfill someone else's will and desire. 
So there is difference between a servant and a slave. Das apni chala pura garna paunde na, tarra nokar leje pura. A bond servant cannot uh, fulfill their own will, but a servant they can. Just to nokar chahi paisa ma kam garni bhi kile nokar vanna sakincha. So someone who works for a money, uh, then they are called servants. Otiyo nokar le chahi. Uh, servants they can say I don't want to work today, I don't want to get paid. But the slaves they are they cannot say so. So the uh, so the bond uh, the people in bond days, whether they are sick or ill, they, uh, they have to fulfill the will of their master. So likewise, we are in uh, in the in the bond days. So we are as well not uh, fulfilling someone else's will and not ours. And Romans chapter 7, I would like to read it out just to clarify this more. Verse 19, it says, For the good that I would, I do not, but the evil which I would not, I do. So what a beautiful thing is mentioned here, that it mentions and, uh, and shows the slavery or the bondage. Such a beautifully it is mentioned here that that I want to do good, but I cannot do that. But the evil which I do not want to do, I am doing it. And many of the youths today, we are we have this good thing in us, and we want to do the good thing. Tarapani, yehuta tatto sa jun tatto le garda hamile asal kuraru garna sakirega mudeno sakda. But but there is this one element because of that we are not able to do the good thing. Ani kharaab kuraru hamile thasa yeh kuraa kharaab ho tar hamile tio garda na banjo. And we know that some things which are evil and that are bad, and but somehow we we end up doing it. And verse 20 it clarifies now if I do that I would not. It is no more that I do I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. So there are two things in us. There is uh, one is I and the other one is the sin. So we need to be able to see the difference between this, these two things. And only then in our Christian life we are able to uh, be free from this bondage. And we, I want to take some time in this because it is essential we understand this. Uh, first year, so I want to give you an example for a, of a student. Let's say that they fail their first year exam. 
अनि उले कल्पना गर्छ उले मनमा कुराहरु बुन्छ म यसचोटी त फेल भए अब चाहिँ म अर्कोचोटी राम्रो तरिकाले पढेर पास हुन्छु भनेर उले संकल्प गर्छ एन्ड दैट स्टुडेन्ट विल विल मेक एन मेक अ गोल दैट ओ आई हैव फेल्ड दिस इयर बट आई विल ट्राइ इट अगेन एन्ड आई विल पास इट नेक्स्ट टाइम एक दुई दिन पढ्छ तर केही समय पछाडी फेरि उ पढ्ने कुरामा पनि उले फेरि ग्याप गर्न थाल्छ सो द पर्सन विल स्टडी Uh, for a couple of days but then they will slack again and usle fer yojana bana ma yo yo samay pachi feri padchu bancha an tyo samay pani auncha feri tyo samay pani jancha and the student says oh i will do this again so the time comes and then that passes again ani vacation auncha yo vacation ma ta maile homework garchu bancha ani tyo vacation pani cross bhayera jancha so the summer vacation comes in and then they will say oh, i will do my work there But then, but then that holiday passes over again. अनि कति यस्ता समयहरु आउँछन् अब यो समयमा चाहिँ म गर्छु भनेर पहिले संकल्प गर्छ त्यो समय पनि आउँछ अनि त्यो समय पनि कटेर जान्छ. And they so they make many such notes that are saying I will do my work at this time but then that uh, keep on passing it one and by one. गर्दा गर्दा हाम्रो एक्जामको समय पनि नजिक नजिक आइरहेको हुन्छ र संकल्प हामीले के गर्छौ भने अब एक्जाम नजिकै छ अब म राम्रोसँग पढ्छु भनेर योजना बुन्छ एन्ड द टाइम फर एक्जामिनेसन कम्स क्लोज बाइ क्लोज एन्ड देन दे विल मेक अ गोल दैट आई विल स्टडी मच हार्डर बिफोर द एक्जाम अनि यसो योजना बुन्दा बुन्दै एक्जाम पनि नजिकै आउँछ अनि त्यही एक्जामको बेलामा हामी रगडटेर पढ्छौ अनि हाम्रो जस्तो पहिलाको वर्षको मार्क्स थियो त्यस्तै नै यो वर्षको मार्क्स पनि हुन्छ एज द स्टुडेन्ट इज स्टिल प्लानिङ फर द फर द एक्जाम द एक्जाम कम्स सो क्लोज टु देम एन्ड दे विल स्टडी ओभरनाइट बट देन द रिजल्ट बिकम्स एज एज द एक्जाम बिफोर मैले यहाँबाट पता गर्न खोजेको कुरा के हो भने संकल्पमा पढ्छु भनेर गर्नु राम्रो तर त्यो गर्न नसक्नु चाहिँ नराम्रो हो एन्ड व्हाट आई एम ट्राइङ टु से इज दैट It is good to plan that I will do this. I will do such thing, but uh, but it is uh, the bad thing is that not to do it. Bitra bada gorni manta ko cha. Tera baire bada isto tatto le ami lai firi habi gori ko cha. Thava overtake gori ko cha. Jun kura le gorda ami porna tira manoi na anna tira man lagu cha. We have this inner desire to do the studies, uh, but there is the element that. overtakes us and prevents us from doing it bhanna ko matlab hami bhitri kura ko das hoina hami bairi kura ko das bani raheka chhau ra pal padne kura ma hami alchi 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 garna thaleka chhau so meaning meaning that it is that we are not the bondage of something inside but it is the outward bondage that we have and we're not able to do the studies jab hami bhitr ko kura ko ani दासुत्तमा नभएर तब जब बाहिरी कुराको दासुत्तमा हुन्छ हेर्नुस् हाम्रो रिजल्ट यस्तै यस्तै मात्रै हुँदै जान्छ सो इफ वी आर नट द बन्डेज अफ द इनर इनर डिजायर बट वी ह्याभ द बन्डेज अफ द आउटवर्ड आउटवर्डली देन आवर रिजल्ट्स विल बी लाइक दैट एक्चुअली फेरि म तपाईलाई व्यवहारिक कुराहरु बताउन चाहन्छु जब तब बिहान उठ्न खोज्नु हुन्छ त्यति So well, I would like to give you a practical example that if you want to wake up early in the morning, you are not able to do so. किनकि कि तपाईको भित्रि मनले उठा उठा भनेर भनिरहेको हुन्छ अनि तर बाहिर कुराले के भन्छ हैन 5 मिनेट 6 मिनेट अब एकछिन पछि उठ्छु भन्छ त्यति गर्दा गर्दा आधा घण्टा 1 घण्टा बितेको थाहै हुँदैन. So inside you have this desire to wake up in the morning but there is something that is preventing you and is telling you five more minutes a couple of more more minutes and the time passes by oh yes prakar le garda hami bhitri kura ko haina bairi kura ko dasutta ma rai raheka huncha so so we are likewise not the bondage of inward inward bondage but it is the outward bondage that we are in jasari israeli haru misra ko dasutta ma the tesai gari hami pani sharir ko dasutta ma chhau So as Israelites they were in the bondage of Egyptians we are also in the bondage of this flesh. अब शरीरको मात्रै होइन हामी चाहिँ एउटा अनि पापको पनि दासत्वमा रहेछौ. And it is not only the flesh but it is also the bondage of sin. यसकारणले गर्दा 
गलाती को किताब पांच अध्याय को एक पद लेके बंजर बने हमें लाई पाप को दासत्तो बाटा वहाँ ले हमें लाई छुटकारा दिन भायो बने रह बने को सा so which is why Galatians chapter five verse one it says that the Lord uh, Jesus Christ uh, redeemed us uh, uh, from the bondage of sin यहाँ बने को सा जून स्वतंत्र द्वारा क्रिश्च ले हमें लाई स्वतंत्र पान भायो तेसे में बोलिए गड़ी खड़ा हो and it says, Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not in entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Now, there is another one. First, the one that we have here is the one that we have here. The one that we have here is the one that we So we looked at the first uh, yoke, which is the yoke of bondage, which represents the the life in sin. So it represents the life in the bondage of sin. So the Lord has redeemed us and given us this liberty from the bond, uh, life of bondage of sin. Yes, currently, all I meet you, Papco da Soto Masino, Papco Bandan Masino, just but I'm like probably Chutkara de Nicali Shokno by Pusa. So we are no longer in the in the yoke of bondage because the Lord has already redeemed us from it. Our Matsutkarima Batonsu, Palam Kojua, Josain, Biosta Biberan, Artaisko or Salis Patmosa. And Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse forty eight, we would like to go, uh, we shall go in the yoke of. Iron. Ma tapaiko samu part garis garnisu. Yaha is par gali bani ko sa. Devusta vivaran atthai sadai ko atchalis padma. Ma chapter twenty eight verse forty eight. Ma sabi jana kanti. Yaha agadi baata pordha na ta ramre onthi ora. Tar ma atchalis padla pordi dinchu. Yo junpani falam ko juwa sa. Yo thevada conditional atawa uh, like a conditional uh, oil. And this yoke of iron, it is a conditional, it is in condition. Yes, uh, uh, you have to say, yes, I have to say, I have so when we are obedient, there is a blessing given for us. And it is not and not only blessing, but it is also that we will we, do, we will no longer have the yoke of iron. And when we are disobedient, uh, alongside the curse, we also have the yoke of iron. So I'd like to repeat again, uh, when we are obedient, follows, it follows with uh, the blessing alongside uh, the removal of the yoke of iron. So when we are disobedient, then uh, to, alongside our uh, the curse, we also have the yoke of iron. You know, condition condition no yoke. See, there is a condition here that when we are obedient, then there is no yoke. But uh, when we are disobedient, then there is the yoke of iron. So the and it's clear when we read verse 48 where he says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, 
which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in, in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So when the Lord uh, redeemed Israelites from Egypt, so when they were still in uh, the land of Canaan, and this is uh, uh, the thing that the Lord uh, mentioned to them here. And the Lord said unto them that if you are obedient, then I will bless you. But if you when you are disobedient, then it is not only the curse, but there shall also be the yoke of iron for you. So as we read the uh, the word of uh, the the Bible, we can find that many times the Israelites they forsook and the Lord. So and they became disobedient and they forsook and disobeyed, disobeyed, disobeyed the covenant of the Lord. But the Lord is so gracious that he sent forth his prophets and through, uh, through the priests that he pointed out their problems and their their uh, disobedience, but they did not want to come to the Lord. And many times the Lord gave them warnings, but they did not come to the right path. And, and one of the uh, the saddest thing of Israelites is their uh, their hardness. And because of their hardness, uh, and the Lord brought them into, uh, uh, Lord, Lord brought the Israelites under the yoke of iron. And it is mentioned in Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 14. Israel and it says here, for those, uh, for thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations, that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and they shall serve him, and I have given him the beasts of the field also. And many, and many time the Lord gave them the precautions and warnings, but they did not listen, which is why the Lord brought onto them this yoke of iron. Uh, so it was those it, it were those people who um, who were disobedient that received uh, these yoke of um, yoke of iron you know what a condition of the army promise or not a terrible you 
कठोर भयौं त्यो फलाम को जुआ तपाईं र मेरो जीवन ना होला भनेर भन्न सकिदैन सो दिस इज द कन्डिसन दैट इफ वी आर स्टबर्न इफ वी आर हार्ड देन द लोर्ड विल दैट वी कैन नॉट से दैट द लोर्ड विल नॉट ब्रिंग द योक ऑफ आयन इन आवर लाइफ एज वेल इस कारणले आज प्रभु को वचन प्रशस्त मात्रामा तपाईं र मेरो जीवन को लागि आइरहेका हुन्छ सुनिरहेका हामीले हुन्छौ and many times we are also listening uh, the the advice from the lord and we are hearing them as well tara tapain ma kati choti atteri hunchau dhit hunchau euta kan le sunera arko kan le udaune tapain ma bani dinchau but many times we become so stubborn and hard and stiff that we do not want to hear we even if we hear we let it out from the other ear eto bado dukha lagdo kuro yo bado euta हृदय स्पर्शी कुरा हो एंड इट इज अ वेरी सैड थिंग एंड इट इज अ हार्ट टचिंग मैटर हेन प्रभु को वचन बा हम हूं हम कसरी पाप को बंधन में थी पाप को दासत्व में थी तर परमेश्वर ने हमीर पाप को दासत्व मुक्त कर बंदेज अफ सीन बट द लोर्ड वॉज एबल टू रिडीम अस अनि परमेश्वरले पापको दशटबाट मुक्त गरेता पनि तर तपाईं र मेरो जीवनमा कति यस्ता गल्तीहरू हामी गरिरहेका हुन्छौ परमेश्वरको वचन सुन्छौ र गल्तीहरूलाई देख्छौ तर तपाईंमा अझै पनि अटेरी हुन्छौ अझै पनि अटेरी हुन्छौ बट इवन दो वी आर हैव बीन रिडीम फ्रॉम दिस बॉन्डेज ऑफ सिन वी स्टिल हैव वी डू मेनी वी स्टिल डू मेनी मिस्टेक्स एंड इवन दो अपॉन हियरिंग द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड एंड हिज एडवाइसेस वी स्टिल बिकम स्टबर्न हेनहोस यस ठाउँ में एउटा कन्डिसन छ कन्डिसन छ परमेश्वरले तपाईं र मेरो जीवन राख्नु भएको छ सो द लोर्ड हैज पुट फरवर्ड दिस कन्डिसन इन आवर लाइफ हेलो हजुर हजुर सुनिदै छ हजुर एउटा कन्डिसन परमेश्वरले हाम्रो जीवनमा राख्नु भएको छ तपाईं र म आज्ञाकारी भयौ हजुर सो द लोर्ड हैज लेड Uh, a condition in our life edi ami aagyakari bhayo bhane yo phalam ko jua hamile hamro kaat mathi athwa hamro gardan mathi aaudaina and if we are obedient then this um, yoke of iron will not be placed on our shoulders tar edi hami anagyakari bhane ar anagyakari bhayo bhane yo hamro gardan ma chai aai pukcha but if we are disobedient then this uh, will be placed on our shoulders अनि अर्को कुरा हेर्छौ गरुङको जुवा यो जुवाको विषयमा अब धेरै लामो समय छैन एन्ड वी शल अल्सो लुक एट दिस थर्ड योक व्हिच इज द हेवी योक अ पहिलो राजाको किताब 12 देखो 10 पदबाट हामी यसबाट केही कुराहरु हेर्ने छौ एन्ड फर्स्ट किंग च्याप्टर 12 वर्स 10 अन वर्स वी शल सी पहिलो राजा 12 देखो 10 पद फर्स्ट किंग च्याप्टर 12 वर्स 10 यहाँ लेखिएको छ अनि उनीसित हुर्के बढे हुर्केका माफ गर्नुस् म 10 पदलाई नभएर 4 पदलाई पढ्न चाहन्छु सरी आई वांट टु रीड वर्स 4 तपाईका पिताले हाम्रो जुवा कष्टपूर्ण पारिदिएका थिए यसकारण तपाईले अब तपाईका पिताको त्यो कष्टपूर्ण सेवा र उनले हामीमाथि बोकाइ दिएको उनको त्यो गरुङ्गो जुवा हलुङ्गो पारिदिनुस् र तपाई हामी तपाईको सेवा गर्ने छौ Thy father made our yoke grievous. Now, therefore, make thou the grievous service that of thy father and his heavy yoke, which he put upon us, lighter, and we shall serve thee. Masana khas bata nu bani aur kuraru de. Reason tis kanga dama tapane kati bhas mati tipai dini kushis magar chu. So I have many things to explain here, but I uh, uh, can only give you verses here. यो जुन पनि गरुङ्गो जुवा छ यो चाहिँ पहिलो सामेलको किताब आठ अध्यायको दस देखि अठार पद पढ्दाखेरि एउटा राजाहरूले बनाएको नियम हो जुन नियममा चाहिँ सारा प्रजाले गर्नुपर्ने थियो पहिलो सामेलको किताब आठ अध्यायको दस पद देखि लिएर अठार पदसम्म के कुरा पढ्छौँ and first king chapter 8 verse 10 to 
मैं फिर इस दोहराए पेलो सामिल को किताब आठ अध्याय को दस पद देखि अठारह पद सम सोलोमन राजा को विषय में देख जो सोलोमन राजा ने खान पान को प्रजा लगाइए शासन अथवा काम को विषय में हम देख and here we can see read about solomon and how he made the food provisions and the the rules uh, for his uh, kingdom yo pani euta bhari ho and this is also a burden aba ma tapai la naya niyam ko prerit ko kitab 15 adhyay ko 10 pad bata padera sunauchu and acts chapter 15 verse 10 i will read it out for you ya likhi ko cha ke bancha bhane इस कारण अब चेला का गर्दन में जुआ राखी दिए तर कमेश्वर परीक्षा कर जो जुआ न तो हमारा पुर्खा न तो हमी ने नहीं बोक्न सक्य प्रेरित पंद्रह देखो दस पद Now therefore why tempt ye God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. Yeah emily de ko chha yo bhane ko chai kyo bhanda keri ya 15 adhyay la hamile shuru bata padyau bhane tya khatana garnai parcha khatana gare pachi mukti paincha bhanne kura ullekh gareka chha nes thama. And if you read the uh, chapter 15 from verse 1 onwards we can see that uh, that they are mentioning about circumcision and that it must be done to receive the salvation tar yo kura chai sure ana satya chai hoina but uh, this is not very true tar yudhi haru ko chalaki garera yo niyam inu le lagai deka thie but because of this cunningness of uh, jews they had put forward this ta hernus ta ya euta niyam ladaine kaam euta bhari bokaune kaam gareka chan and so they have laid this burden of rules अब तब फरीसी शास्त्री के विषय में हेन भाई अनावश्यक किसिम का निम लगाईदिने काम कर सब पद के हे हम पाँच एम को लदाई हम यहाँ देख लादने काम देख एंड वॉट वी कैन सी इज द बर्डन अफ लोज एंड रूल्स ये सब निम लदाने काम कर सो सच रूल्स वेर लेड अपन दम सेंग यू कैन डू दिस यू सुड नट बी डुइंग दिस यू सुड डू दैट तो मैं भन्न चाहूँ प्रभु को वचन ने हमें निम सीख तर सिद्धांत सीख So what I'm trying to say is that the Lord or the word of God does not teach us the rules or the laws but it gives us the principles. Parameshwar ko vachan le niyam sikhaunda na siddhanta sikhauncha. So the word of God does not teach us the rules but teaches us the principles. Niyam chutte kura ho siddhanta chutte kura. So the law or the rule is a different thing and a principle is another thing. नियम परिवर्तन होना सकता तर सिद्धांत परिवर्तन होना सकते हैं रूल्स कैन चेंज बट प्रिंसिपल कैन नट चेंज जो पुराना नियम हो जो नियम चेंज भर नया नियम खड़ा सो दिस ओल्ड लॉज दैट वी हैव इट चेंज एंड बिकेम द न्यू लॉ द न्यू टेस्टमेंट तर सिद्धांत कहीं परिवर्तन होना but the principle will never change justo yesu christ ko ragat le sabai ko paap dhuncha bhaner lekhiyeko chha ni yo euta siddhanta ho and what it is written about the the blood of the lord jesus christ that it cleanses all the sin it is the principle yo ni yo siddhanta parivartan hunna tara niyam chai parivartan huncha and this principle will not change but the 
the rules will change. The Prabhu ko bachan liya. I mean, jawan aur lai sikhao ni bani ko niyam hai na. Siddhant ho. Kya garne, kya na garne, kya khane, kya na khane, kya jaane, kya na jaane. Yuh kura Prabhu ko bachan liya. I mean, sikhao de na. Tera I mean, principle sikhao. So the word of God uh, does not teach us what we should do or the rules that we should not uh, we should not do this or we should not eat this or that. But it is the principle that the word of God teaches us. Garungo jua. Yesko mani onsan. Niyam ko jua. Atawa niyam ko jiban. So the meaning of this heavy yoke is uh, is the yoke of the rules or the laws. Maile bata hai. Dasutto ko jua wani ko chai. Paap ko dasutto ko jiban lai dekha hon sada. Uh, so this yoke of bondage shows this life in the in in the yo, uh, in the in the life uh, in the bondage in the yoke of sin. Raphalam ko juale yota atteri jivan le dekhaun sa. And this yoke of uh, iron represents this stubborn nature. Ta garungo jivan garungo juale chahi niyam ko jivan le dekhaun sa. And this uh, heavy yoke represents the life in within the law. This currently, our life is not a rule. It is a standard of life. So our life um, should be uh, 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 according to should not be in accordance of the rules and the law, but should be in the principles. What if John or Lemal a question got on carrom board? Can you answer it? No. Facebook, YouTube, or any answer it? No. And many used they ask me, can we play carrom board? Can I use the Facebook or such things and such? Sayed, aza you button sunni or madhe dheri jana onun chala. Ani kya garne, kya na garne, Christian boy bosi, thava Christian you a boy bosi, kya garnoon chha, kya garnoon na vani yo tapai niyam badhi no boy kosa now many of you you hear as well, you might have questions whether I should be doing this as a Christian or that, and many of us uh, feel being bound by such rules. And I want to give you these three verses which I will not be able to explain, uh, but uh, that might be able to uh, be helpful in your life. And if you are able to do these three things, then you are able to do it in your life. And it is not essential uh, for necessary for you to go and ask elders uh, whether you should be doing this or not. I'm not uh, saying that you should not ask for advice. But these three things will teach us the principles of the Lord. And the first thing is relating to our personal life. Or it is something that we should do in our life personally. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 23. And 1 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Yes, Thomas, I'm going to go and here it teaches us that we need to live for someone else. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, it teaches that it is for uh, for ourselves. And for uh, chapter 8 verse 9, it is for others and for their, for their, for their conscience. And 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, it is for the Lord. And these three things, that one for ourselves and the uh, second one for the others, 
and thirdly for the Lord Himself. Ra, mala ekdom maaf ganos samay na bhai guna le. Mal antim jo Christ ko jua jo amre inti saare important thiyo thiyo chay mal leer na sakina. And please forgive me due to time uh, limitation. The th the final yoke, which is the yoke of Christ, which is very essential for us, I was not able to go into that. Ma anti ma icharo da kurala doraera ma banda karsho. So I'd like to repeat these four uh, things, and I will close it here. Adasutto ko jua. The yoke of bondage. Oda paap ko jivan. And the life of sin. Adava paapi jivan. Or uh, a sinner sinning life. Adava mani falan ko jua yota atteri jivan. And the yoke of iron, which is the life, a uh, stubborn life. Ani gorungo jua, ani niem ko jivan. And the heavy yoke, and the life which represents the life in, uh, within the laws. Our last ma Christ ko jua, just a learning life, atawa, amle sikcha paoni jivan, sikne jivan. And the the yoke of Christ, which is the the life of learning. The Prabhu ko bachan ma Prabhu le saayta gono bhai ko hos Prabhu ko icha bhai ko khanda ma kuni samay Prabhu le din bhai bani. Yeh sabi kura ko bise maaje ami bristi terne chaun. So may the Lord bless His word, and if we have time again, if he, if the Lord wills, then we shall uh, go more into this again. Sabi lai premi jamesi. Thank you very much. Genesee, thank you very much.